Hi, welcome to Oko Hamster. Today I'll be viewing this Apollos LED insect trap. And on the box, I'll list some of the specs for it. Here's the model number. It is universal, 100 to 240 volts. It only consumes about four watts of power. Here's its features. It lowers the insects over by the ultraviolet LEDs. It has a fan there that draws insects down into the catch bin where they can't escape and essentially die. And it's pretty quiet, odorless and efficient. No chemicals needed, there's no poison, and it covers 660 square feet. In the packaging, it came with a user manual, a cleaning brush, and of course, the main unit. Here's the power button right here. Now on the top, on the inside, is where the ultraviolet LEDs are placed. And this is the catch bin. The power cord is about four feet in length. And for the catch bin, I would just pull over here to, to remove it. Now I'm not sure what I've caught recently, so let's check it out together. There's another like a funnel in here. And let me see if I catch anything. Oh yeah, caught something. Hmm. On that part on the inside over there. Oh, well, let me just empty it out. A mosquito died. That's pretty quick. So holes on the bottom here to maximize the airflow. Put this back up. Now this is, isn't advertised to emit any form of the CO2 like the other mosquito traps. There's no cartridge to replace with this one. There is no zapping bugs, so there's no splatter cleanup like, like that. I had this out for the past two days. It did catch flying insects and mosquitoes. The fan is very quiet and essentially it does work. Now, this one didn't catch as many mosquitoes as the other traps that emitted CO2, but this one still did its job. So overall, I still like this and I would recommend it. Well, thanks for watching this review. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching, Walker Hamster. Bye.